So a few notes on the extruder for the Rostock Max. This is one of the interior parts and one of the first components you'll first put together. And I just wanted to show it a little bit better than the original video that was done because it's kind of hard to see in that lower resolution camera. You can see the part orientation. This component here needs to have these little these little nibs sticking out for how it mounts inside the uh, the rest of the extruder body. A note on the uh, extruder gears. These two gears have to be very carefully installed, uh, paying special attention to the uh, the bearing that's on the inside. This bearing needs to be pressed all the way into the bearing pocket. Okay. Um, if it's not, these two gears will rub, and you'll have a real problem on your hands. Um, as you can see, it moves freely. I've got the, the gear on the stepper motor. This is a press-on gear. Um, be careful pressing this on. If you don't have a vise with rubber jaws to, to draft it on or to drift it on, um, I would recommend being very careful and pressing straight down to get it to mount. Um, when these, or when the bearing is all the way in the pocket and this back gear here um, actually it's this gear here that's the one I'm talking about and the one I should be talking about when you hold these two together and just press them together the boss on the gear or the little raised piece in the center of the gear should touch the interior of this ball bearing here and prevent this face of the gear from touching the face of the smaller gear on the inside without it rocking back and forth. When it does that, you know that you've got the bearing pressed all the way in the gear po or in the, the pocket on this here. Um, another thing that I noticed with this is that the screws that were supplied for the uh, attachment of this bit, I don't particularly care for. And the reason is that they've got Phillips head screws. I went ahead and bought a pair of replacements. These are two inch long number six by 32 hex head screws. Um, this adjusts the tension of uh, the system that's gripping the, uh, the filament. And over time these are going to get cammed out. It's just that's the way it's going to happen. Um, but with a pocket head screw it'll last a little bit longer. Um, I don't know why they changed it out. Maybe they just ran out of the part when they sent me my kit. Uh, but I would recommend changing these to hex head cap head screws. Um, and this assembles just by dropping this in like so. And watch me screw it up, huh? Gotta get these out of the way first. Come on, there's one more in there. Oh, come on. And this, this goes right in there. Well, it should go right in there. <laughs> I've taken it apart and it won't go back together again. Oh, yeah. Nothing makes you feel dumber than making a fool out of yourself in public. There it is. Okay. It's down. And these just lock on the front. Um, the reason that it's important to get these, uh, these little nipples here correctly oriented is when these are screwed down, Okay, it will prevent the washers from lifting up off this whole assembly, and that's kind of important. Um, and I'm going to leave it here before uh, my bumbling gets in me in any more trouble. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.